Hi guys, I just thought I'd do a new updated room tour of my gaming room. I like the way this one's laid out a lot more because um, as you can see it's sort of more straight on the way I had it set up before because the way the room was shaped and everything the couch was on like a sort of an angle to the TV which was kind of annoying but now it's much better. So I'll just start here at the door. I've got my Morrowind poster. Very nice. And then I got that's just an old Bravia. I took some parts out of for the Xbox laptop. There's my Dishonored poster. It's a bit dishonored and torn up, but oh well. And then coming along here I've got Grand Theft Auto 5, Mario Kart 7, this really cool Super Mario Bros. Wii poster. It's made out of cardboard, it's the same thing on the other side. And I've got um, Grand Theft Auto 5 again. Lovely couch with an Alice Cooper scarf. I think it glows in the dark. I haven't really looked at it actually. And then boxes and stuff. Got my completely full of blank there. Um, HD PBR box. With, I think it's inside it still. The original Dreamcast controller. PS3 dancing stage game thingy. Basically knock off of DDR. Then we've got the fighting stick. It's still in the box. I need to take it out actually and put it over there. There's my Lovely Donkey Kong box. We, my cool poster. Okay, and then we got the other couch. Got my cool Batman thingy placemat, whatever you want to call it. And over here, I've got. I just had to put all my controllers in a basket for now. I had no one else to put them. I want to get a nice little stand for him. So here's the little shelf thing, I've got all my games in, I need to get some more, because it is full now. I've got, focus on that, I've got the Game Boy Color, I just got that one in, got my Game Boy Advanced, my Game Boy SP, PS3 controller, Famicom, Famicom manual for the disk system. Duke controller, got that brand new Dreamcast controller, got the Play TV, got a cool skull filled with Midori, whatever you call it, I don't know, just some random alcohol I had laying around, that's that crap. Um, system Link cable, got a boxed um, Game Boy Advanced game, got my Lynx. PSP 1000, there's Pokemon Watches, Flames of Freedom, there, sitting there. And I forgot to add this into my pickups video the other day. And that's uh, it's a Pokemon board game. Got it for two dollars, complete. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's my Accent Acoustic bookshelves and center speaker. I have to get them replaced because they're faulty. So that's gonna be a lot of fun to get new ones now. They're under warranty still, which is handy. Uh, I've got, here's my PlayStation 2. I'll go from the top along, so it's all out of order. PlayStation 2. Original Xbox. Best game in the world. <laughs> Pretty funny. Um, there you go, Halo 2. Pretty standard, really. Um, there's half still life, half life. Wish I had half life. Um, my modest PlayStation 3 collection. Warhammer Online, which I bought and then found out that they turned the servers off a month before I bought it. Kind of sucks. Nintendo 64. There's Legend of Zelda there. Some Famicom games. 
Mario Kart. And I've got, I've almost got a complete collection of Wii U games. I only need to get a few more and then I've got the whole set. Ha ha ha. Um, some Wii games, a couple PC games, Mac games, another PC game there. And here I've got 360. Not a very big 360 collection, even though I play it the most. Um, more PS2 and more PS2 games. So it's not a lot, but I've only really. Originally, I was only ever collecting consoles and just the hardware and stuff, but I thought, uh it's quite fun. Might collect all the games as well. Then here's the all the consoles and stuff. I've got my. And down the, right there, so you can see them. RGB lighting. Just got a little controller over the other side here. So I'll start at the top. Got my StarCraft poster. Um, Assassin's Creed. And I've got Vice City. Doom 3. It's the Bay of the edition. Not as cool. Um, my Pokemon hat, my speaker, and just some controllers and stuff. And along here, I got there's Pikachu again, a cockroach. Ew. Yuck. No, wasn't a cockroach. It was something else. Um, Misfits box. Got my PAL Nintendo 64. I've got my Platinum PlayStation 2, Mega Drive, Famicom with this system. Got my Hanamax, uh, the Wii with the stupid camera thing. A couple PlayStation 1 games. There's all my DOS and Saturn games. And here, can't see it's out of focus, so I haven't got a tilty screen. Yeah, that's better. I've got uh, Dual BIOS, Dreamcast, Japanese Saturn, Japanese PS2, PSX. And I've got the uh, Japanese Nintendo 64. I've to get around to chopping that up to take US games. And there's the massive wires and things. I've tried to organize it best as I can, but that's just impossible. Um, this little thing down here, that's my step down transformer to take everything down to 110 volts. Got my Wii U 360 with Wasabi, and there's the hard drive for the Wasabi, and there's my 40 gig hard drive for to replace the internal memory unit so I've got 500 gigs for the wasabi 20 gigs for the hard drive and then 40 gigs for the memory unit but the memory unit I can take it up to 2 terabytes with no worries I just haven't got around to it yet got my T-Sopt Halo edition console I took out the little silver thing on the top little RF shielding Got my 160 gig PlayStation 3. Got my NES here. Have to get around to doing that one too. And there's my Super Nintendo. My custom painted GameCube that I did myself. It looks a bit better in real life. I've got my Dual BIOS PlayStation 1. Pretty unique because um, you flick the switch on the back and it switches between two different types of BIOSes. You got the stock one, and you got a funny Chinese one. Does other stuff. You can explore the CDs and things. Got my cool five dollar lava lamp. Wii U remote. Um, oh, there's a TV by the way. It's just a T Teak Tiak. How do you pronounce it? Forty two inch passive three D. Nothing special. 
I don't know what the native resolution is, but it's pretty high. Um, well more than 1080p anyway. There's my, I think that's 10 inch or 8 inch. Uh, I think it's 250 watt sub. It's down firing. Ports on the bottom. Um, it's actually a really nice sub actually. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just the a couple of the front speakers that are cocked it, so I've had to put in the um, stock Pioneer ones back in, which they're not, they're not bad, but these, even though they're broken, sound a million times better than those crappy cheap ones. That's sad, because these are actually pretty good. They've got a, um, so you've got your mid-ranges here and here, and then you've got a silk dome tweeter in the center, so... They were well worth thousand dollars, but sad that they're kind of buggered. Don't know if I'm going to replace them or just live with it. There's my home theater PC, which I made out of parts. I don't think I've even mentioned this at all ever. It's just a Core 2 Duo. I think it's got four or eight gigs of RAM. I can't remember. I think it's only four. Uh, Core 2 Duo, just a cheap GTX 221 gig card. I need to replace it because it um, because it has some line noise in it. I don't know if it's from the power supply or it's just from a crappy graphics card because it's only a $20 graphics card, but it does the trick. It supports 3D apparently, I've never tried it. Um, HDMI out, which means I can have full... I think it's Dol Dolby Pro Logic, I think is what I use most of the time. Most of my stuff is in ProLogic or I don't know, whatever it is. Don't really pay much attention as long as it's 5.1. And yeah, so that's pretty much my whole setup. Yeah, it's a bit different to last time, but um, hopefully it's a bit better. So yeah, thanks for watching.